chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, Texas Congressman Max Thornberry. He was at that event, and he's among the architects of the GOP's new plan, and he joins us now with a little more insight. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thanks for having me. So uh, the plan is about, what, 23 pages long. You call it A Better Way, Our Vision for a Confident America, Achieving U.S. Security Through Leadership and Liberty. Uh, take us through some of your plan. There, there are four different parts, right? Yeah, uh, we have four different objectives in this plan uh, that include protecting the homeland, defeating terrorists, advancing our interests, and also reforming the tools of national security so that they do a better job of meeting the challenges we face. You know, I think that as we, when we look back, we will find that one of the chief legacies of the Obama administration is that they are leaving a more dangerous world than they inherited. And this is a blueprint for dealing with that situation and helping the country be more secure. And speaking of that, when it comes to keeping Americans safe at home, listen to what um, uh, Congressman Michael McCall had to say yesterday about border security. Listen. What our blueprint calls for is a, a beefing up of security at last point of departure airports, better vetting, better screening at the airports. We need a secure border to stop uh, uh, potential terrorists from entering the nation. We know um, uh, ISIS and Debeat magazine talked about uh, taking a Pakistan nuclear uh, weapon and smuggling it across the U.S.-Mexico uh, border. So what else uh, in terms of um, tightening up our security here at home? Yeah, I think McCall was talking about how we better protect the homeland. That includes border security, but it also means better screening at airports and ports all around the world. That's one key plank. But, but another one is we're not, we can't just play defense against the terrorists. We have to play offense over there. And too much of the time, this administration has tied the hands of our military and intelligence community and, and made it harder for them to be as effective as they could be. And, and then leading. Uh, this leading from behind the administration has uh, pursued all around the world has led to a more dangerous world, whether you're talking about Europe and Putin or China and Asia or the Middle East and, and terrorism or even Africa. And so it's starting from military strength, and we talk about how to achieve that, and then being engaged in the world. That's what, uh, that's a different thing that the Obama administration has pursued. Yeah, we are in fact, uh, what, in the, the highest terror threat level that we've been since 9-11. Uh, when it comes to NATO, what do you have to say about that? Well, our view is that alliances are very important, NATO included. Now, we need to push our allies to do more. Uh, they need to spend more on defense. They need to make a bigger contribution. Some of them in NATO, thanks to Mr. Putin, are waking up and starting to do that. But the United States cannot do everything that needs to be done around the world. We've got to work with others. And whether it's NATO in Europe or whether it's allies in the Middle East or key countries in Asia, we need to work with friends. One of the key problems now is, as the speaker was just mentioning in that clip, too many of our friends doubt us. Uh, and we need to turn that around to be a better friend and a more formidable adversary for people who would test us. All right, so how do we do that? And would you consider sending in um, troops, ground forces, into the Middle East? Well, we have ground forces in the Middle East. Uh, we are, the president is putting more people into Syria and Iraq, largely in an advisory role. But what but he's about also, a combat role? Well, uh, I don't think you rule it out, and, and that's the key. Too much of the time over the Obama administration, we have said what we're not going to do. Mm -hmm. Now, we ought to push and try to work with others uh, to, so that they are the boots on the ground, they get the job done, and it's going to be more effective that way. But okay. it is absolutely true that if we've got to send U.S. military to protect this country from terrorism, we've got to be willing to do that. And back them up. All right, Congressman Thornberry, thank you so much for joining us.